Next video in the e-file series is removing <laughs> acrylic using the electric file with Greg Solo. We're gonna show you how to do this right now. In this next video in our e-file series, I'm gonna be showing you the proper steps on how to use your file to take acrylic all the way down for a complete rebalance. All right, so before I actually start taking bulk down, I need to remove the free edges because I don't wanna spend so much time taking all of the product down. Now, since these are sculptured nails, it's gonna be really easy for me to use a straight edge toenail clipper to clip this off. What I wanna be able to do is assess underneath to make sure that I'm not getting too close to the hypernicium. Tracy's natural nails extend quite a bit out. So I need to make sure that I'm not clipping all the way to the end. What I'm going to do is just get the very, see the corner right there on the edge. And then when I snip it, it's going to snap off straight, not through the middle. Okay, so same exact thing. I wanna be able to place the edge and just snap them off. As you can see how quickly I'm going to be able to get all of the tips off of her natural nails. Okay, so we have a couple options when it comes to bits for taking down bulk. You could use the Young Nails Core Safety Bit or you could use the Young Nails Tornado Bit to reduce the bulk. I'm going to be working with the Young Nails Safety Bit for this demonstration. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my RPMs around 12,000, okay? And what I wanna be able to do is I want to be able to work in one direction. As you can see, Tracy has all that thickness right here. There's not a lot of thickness around the cuticle area. So what I'm gonna do is start working in one direction around the perimeter of the nail. And again, working down in always in one direction. So you can see as I'm working around the cuticle area, I'm not going side to side. Once I start working on the right side of the nail, I'm using zone three, right? I'm using zone three to pull towards myself, pull towards myself, right? This is really going to help all of you guys out there that are starting, right? Because you don't know how much pressure to use. When you are going side to side, the biggest problem that most people make is they're holding the hand like this, right? And then they go like this and then the barrel starts to slip around the nail. If you are in a position like this, right? So even if I'm just over the top like this, it does a couple things. It basically creates a barrier, right? So if I grip the client's hand like this, it prevents the client from actually looking up while you're working. This gives me a lot more stability to hold her finger so that I can work in one direction. And this also gives me the ability, again, it, it gives me freedom as you can see, my hand doesn't get in the way. If I'm holding the hand like this, my hand always gets in the way. It doesn't matter where I'm pulling. And not only that, I have to put a lot of pressure in my hand when I'm holding. When I'm like this, I have, again, I have a really loose grip, but tight enough so that the client doesn't pull away. So I'm using zone three, I'm coming towards myself, right? And I'm going to continue to work in one direction. Now here's the thing. As you can see, the nail is getting quite thin. So once it gets to this point, I'm not going to start digging into the surface of the acrylic. I'm going to start using a feathering motion to reduce the bulk from the surface of the nail. So again, I'm working around one direction and then I'm, I'm literally going to start feathering, feathering, feathering it away, right? Feathering, Th this, this motion right here, I'm using a feathering motion to get it really, really thin, right? So once I start to work the bulk off of the tip, I'm gonna show you guys something. You see how thin the acrylic has become? at the tip. Once I get to this point, what I'm going to be able to do is I'm just going to be able to snip off all the excess acrylic around the edge, as you can see, right? 
closest to the tip. Now again, there is very little acrylic here. Is it necessary for you to take it all the way down to the surface of the natural nail? It is not. What we want to be able to do is we want to try to create as thin of a structure as possible. If there is any separation, like you can see right here, there's a little bit of very minute, right, lifting around the edge. It's more of a hairline lift. That can be feathered out with ease. What I would do at this point is reduce the electric file maybe to around 7,000 RPMs. So what I'm going to do again is I'm just going to run my electric file behind it. You can see how it lightly flakes away. I'm going to run this around the perimeter of the nail and try to feather out any loose acrylic. And then as you can see, I'm just tickling away every remaining bit from the surface of the nail. This now is ready to be prepped and ready for reapplication. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to take my arbor band, my medium arbor band. I'm going to run my electric file between three and 4,000 RPMs. I have mine at four right now. And what I wanna be able to do is I want to be able to work around the edge and just kind of tickle and prep everything, right? So I'm going around, I'm tickling the surface, feathering all the way through to make sure that I'm removing all the shine. There is a hair amount of acrylic left on the tip. That's not going to make any difference at all. What I can do with my hand file is just come around the edge just to make sure that all of the loose acrylic at the tip is blended. And this is now ready for reapplication. This is really gonna give you a good understanding of what it takes to remove the majority of the acrylic so that when you're setting yourself up for a rebalance, right, you don't have to depend on acetone. That's the key. We absolutely love making videos here at Young Nails, so don't be shy. Go in the comments, tell us what you want, and we promise we're gonna give it to you. Also, don't forget to subscribe.